Hi, I'm Ali Hussain, a program manager in the service industries team at Dynamics AX. Today I'm going to talk about the mobile applications that we built for R3. In this session, we'll talk about the Windows 8 applications for approvals, expenses, and timesheets. Then we'll take a look at our mobile application for the Windows Phone, iPhone, and Android. And finally, our email approval feature. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at all of the applications that we built for R3. We have um, three apps for Windows 8. There's the Expenses app, which lets you do full-blown expense reports uh, with the new modern UI that we have for Windows 8. There is a Timesheets app that allows users to do their time entries and submit their timesheets. And then, finally, there's an Approvals app that lets approvers look at all of the pending workflow approvals that they need to go through and uh, deal with those. So these are all three Windows 8 apps with the new modern UI. We'll take an in-depth look uh, during our demo, see what they do. Moving on from there, we also have um, a Windows Phone app that allows you to do expense capture. And basically what this is, is that it allows you to capture receipts and single expenses on the go. We decided to go with just expense captured on the phone, which is capturing of receipts and single expenses instead of going for the full-blown expense report uh, captured. Then we have uh, timesheets on the phone as well, where users can go ahead and create time entries and add those to their timesheet on the go, and they can also uh, submit them through the phone. So the phone app is first and best in, on Windows, but we also have uh, similar functionality on the iPhone and on the Android devices. So at the end of the session, you should be able to understand the features that we have in the Dynamics um, Windows 8 applications, uh, understand the functionality of the Windows Phone application, and understand the features and functionality of the Android and iPhone applications. So with that, let's dive into the demos and um, take a look and see how they run. So here we have the expense app. And as we just saw, I was on the road. I captured a receipt, and I did a time entry. And now I'm back at my desk. I'm going to create an expense report so I can expense my parking receipt and then um, finish up my timesheet. So over here, I can see useful information about expense reports that are in review, that have been approved or rejected, and that are in draft. So I'll go ahead and create a new expense report. For a customer visit, location was Bellevue. We go ahead and hit Create. And so now my expense report has been created, and I am in the new expense uh, screen. So over here, I can select a category, which in this case was parking. And the payment method was company credit card. And I select a transaction amount, which was $11. I save the expense, and then I can go ahead and attach a receipt. So I hit the Receipts button, and I see all of the available receipts that I have. In this case, I have the single uh, parking receipt, and I can add that into my expense report. So with that being added, I can save and go back. So over here now, we have um, my expense report shows me that I have a single expense in there. I can choose to see it by category. Or um, if I have a lot of expenses, I can see them in report view where I get more details. And I can also see um, all my expenses in calendar view. So if I'm going on a trip somewhere, I can see a breakdown by day. I now have everything I need for this particular expense report. So I'm just going to go ahead, um, bring up the app bar, and submit this. Add some notes. Um, okay. 
and send that on. So we just took a look at the Windows 8 Expenses app, and now we are in the Timesheets app for Windows 8. I have um, my current timesheet where I did a single entry from the phone for Thursday. Again, you see some useful information when you land into the app. I can see all of my um, previous uh, timesheets and the hours that I worked in each period in this bar graph. Two of my timesheets were in review, which is also some information that I saw. And then I can see all of my timesheets in various states. Um, as with the expense app, you can choose to sort by status or by date. So I go ahead and I open up my draft timesheet. And I can see that I have an entry for Thursday. And now what I'm going to do is finish up my timesheet before it I submit it and head home for the weekend. So I enter eight hours for Friday and choose a project and category. Enter a comment and go ahead and create the time entry. So this is the calendar view for timesheets. I can um, create entries for each day. I can also go into the details view and take a look at all of those time entries. Uh, I can see the comments that I have for each day by expanding the um, comment section. And then I can also do um, multi-delete of time entries. So the third view that we have is the charts view, where I can see a breakdown of the time that I spent by project and by category. So I can see that I spent 16 hours out of 40 on the Contoso retail project. So now that I'm all done with my timesheet, everything looks to be in order. I can go ahead and submit it and send that on to the approver. And so now we can see that my timesheet is now in review pending approval. So now we're taking a look from the approver's point of view. I am in the Windows 8 approvals app. And as soon as I land on the main page, I can see that I have 15 pending approvals, a couple of um, new ones. I see that John submitted an expense report, and he also submitted a timesheet. Then we can also see approvals of different kinds. So we have a cash advance request, and a purchase requisition, and a travel requisition. So basically, the approvals app is able to handle all of the uh, different types of workflow approvals uh, that you need. So let's take uh, a look at the expense report that John just submitted. And it is a single expense for parking. Uh, there, are, there is a single attachment for a captured receipt. So I can choose to view the attachment. And I can see the receipt. And then I can go back into the app. Everything looks in order. I can take a look at the overview, any uh, comments from John. So this was a parking receipt from a customer visit. And I go ahead and approve this. Next, we'll take a look at the um, timesheet that was just submitted. So I go ahead and I open up the timesheet. I can see the overview information. This is something that we see for all of the um, workflow approvals that we need to do. And we can look at the instructions, the title, all of that. We can also go into uh, the details. This gives me a breakdown for each day. I can expand uh, the comments. And something looks a little bit off here. So there's a seven hour entry, but the comments say that it's an eight hour entry for Thursday. So one of those doesn't match. 
uh, I can look at the summary. This is again a breakdown by how much time was spent on each project category, how much of the uh, time that was spent was billable versus non-billable. And I can also take a look at the project impact. So I'm going to go ahead and return this timesheet. Um, time entry for Thursday is inconsistent with comments. So the John can take a look at that. So now I have 13 pending approvals. I can also do bulk approval if I need to. So I take, um, select three expense reports in this cash advance request, and I just hit the approve button, and I can approve all four of them with a single click. Um, then let's take a look at the purchase acquisition that we have over here. So we saw that for expense reports and timesheets, we had um, a lot of details, whereas the approval app handles all of the um, different workflow approval types. There is a more detail provided for timesheets and expense reports. For other workflow approvals, we have the overview section where um, these fields that we see on the screen can be customized in AX, so we can see different information here. And then if there are any attachments or SSRS reports that need to go with the receipt, we see an attachment tab right next to the overview one, and we can take a look at that. So that was a brief um, overview of all of our Windows 8 apps. All right, so we took a look at the various demos. We took a look at the Windows 8 applications for expenses, timesheets, and approvals. We took a look at the Windows Phone applications. We also saw that we have um, the same app that we have on the Windows Phone on the iPhone and Android. And now let's take a look at some of the things that we saw in this session. In the demo, we saw the Windows 8 applications for approvals, expenses, and timesheets. We then also saw the Windows Phone application for expense capture and timesheets. And we saw that the same application is available in the Android and iPhone ecosystems as well. We also saw our email approval feature that allows users to approve or reject um, workflow items on the go from any device that has email. So here we have the Dynamics AX Windows Phone app, which has uh, timesheet functionality and expense capture functionality. And as you can see, I can add a new time entry. I can uh, take a look at the time entries that my, I have for my current period or my previous period or see a breakdown by projects, et cetera. Moving over, we see the expense tab from where I can add uh, an unreconciled expense. So let's go ahead and do just that. We hit the new expense button. I can enter the amount, the category, merchant, comments, etc. But for now, all I need to do is take an image of um, the receipt that I got when I parked my car for the customer visit. So I hit this box, launches the camera. I go ahead and capture the image. The quality looks fine, so I go ahead accept that, and I don't want to enter any other information from my phone. I'll do that when I'm back at the office. So I just hit Save, and that goes up to AX. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. If I lose the receipt, I always have a copy sitting on the server. Moving over, I want to uh, take a look in my timesheet for this week. So I go in, and we can see that I have three entries for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I also can look at the summary breakdown by this week. So this will give me a day-by-day -day breakdown. Worked eight hours on uh, the Contoso Retail Los Angeles project on Monday, and so on. I can also take a look at the breakdown by project per period. So this will give me all of the hours that I've worked on one particular project in a single time period. So let's go into the calendar and create an entry for Thursday. So let's do an entry, um, pick 
time and then go into more details. I can select a bunch of different things. Let's select a project and then go ahead and choose a category and then enter some uh, comments in here. Now I can go ahead and save that and that will go through to the server. We also have the Dynamics AX app on the iPhone and the Android. It provides similar functionality. The UI um, is somewhat different because uh, on the Windows phone we have the um, modern UI whereas on the iPhone and Android, we've tailored the apps to make them look more like native uh, iPhone and Android apps. So I just went ahead and as an approver, rejected a, a timesheet from the approvals app on my Windows 8 device. And now I see that I've gotten an email uh, that this timesheet has been resubmitted so I can go in and apparently the mistakes have been corrected so I can see the time period that this was submitted for, the number of hours, and I can choose to approve or reject straight from my uh, email. So I hit approve, and we see that I've gone ahead and approved the document. So that was a brief introduction to the mobile applications that we built for R3. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you.